Hey guys, Joel here, back with more episodes of Sense8. Well, on to episode 4 now. Um, the last episode seemed to concentrate on one thing that seems to be becoming quite clear, is that all of these people who have been affected with this, who seem to be inextricably linked, are starting to realise that they have abilities that enables them to not only experience and go through what one of the others is going through, but they can ask for help. Um, just as in how that fight went down, the um, guy and the Chinese girl. So, I still don't know what to make of this yet, but it's intriguing. So we're just going to carry on. This is episode four. I wanted to add an exchange of rings. Ah. This is a Hindu wedding ceremony. There are no rings. I know. There are traditions. Yes. But we are trying to start them on a path to the 21st century, not the 16th. How much? The more you give him, the shorter the ceremony. The sooner everyone can get to dancing. Six hours is the starting point. I'm so proud of you. So smart and so strong. Is that why my father hates me? You cannot be jealous of your brother. Do not blame him for how much father loves him. No, blame your father. It's natural for fathers to be close to their sons. You certainly weren't lying. These are beauties. You're in a library? Shall I be honest? I think I know where these rocks came from. Out of Mumbai, I'm guessing, and I know who's going to come looking for them. Let's go, Felix. I knew this was a waste of time. Hang on. Really? After all this toy, you bullshit? The shakedown. If you were listening to my bullshit, I said it would not be easy. I didn't say it would not be possible. I will buy a third of them and see what I can do. No. Half or nothing. If I wasn't such a bad person, I'd stop taking my medicine and let you get on with your life. This is my life. This is why we came here. And don't worry. I got a feeling today is going to be a really good day. Good health, Mr. Azza. I'm sure you'd like to see you. Shut the fuck up. Oh, happy to love to. You know what? Follow me. I don't understand, sir. Follow me. Poor, 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 poor. Show me how to cut a man's throat. Yeah, dead. Put a knife in my throat. Now, that sounds like something he would do. Yeah. I have seen you before. You pray to Ganesha. I do. If these men are allowed to have their way, you will never be allowed to pray again. They are trying to destroy our India and turn it into America. They use their evil drug money to buy politicians. Pray to Ganesha to destroy our enemy before they destroy us. You did me a great service, though you may not even know it. You see, the gang superpower had been working for me. They got it in their heads they no longer needed me, thereby saving me from the incoming messiness of betrayal. But I know this is not true for your mother. We both know that she is dying of the virus. Unless she gets the right medication, she'll soon be dead. The doctors assure me that this will have an immediate impact on your mother's health. All you need to do is protect this bag and make sure it arrives at this address by midnight tonight. I know you've been avoiding me. Your outburst in front of my assistant was childish. I needed to get your attention. Someone in this company has been deliberately devaluing certain pharmaceutical stock in order to move funds from one account to another. This kind of transaction happens every day. That may be, but this kind of transaction is called embezzlement. And I think we both know who. In just the span of a single day, you can see how much more damage the disease has done. Tissue has nearly completely merged the hemispheres. I don't know what they taught you in med school, but the word helping doesn't mean handcuff people and chop up their brains. Cancel my rounds. Prepper for surgery. You don't have any rounds. 
This is my big sister, everyone. Hi, sister. Father needs to talk to you. Are you fucking kidding? I'll see him tomorrow. No. He's waiting. I'm in the middle of something important. Jungi? So, uh, what can I do you for? I just brought that perp I brought in, Jonas Maliki. What about him? I was just hoping I could ask him a few questions. Ah, oh, sorry, Well, no can do. It's federal. Family friend here, this is a personal favor. Does this look like a place that gives a shit about personal favors? I'm sorry, Will, but rules are rules. You're here. Somehow. I can feel you. Yes. You can. But you're not really here, are you? No. No. Members of a cluster do it instinctively, and others, like us, outside the cluster can visit if they've made visual contact, eye to eye. This is cold. How can I feel this unless I'm here? Because I feel it. You are no longer just you. Mr. Gorski, will you come with me, please? Do you have no idea what you have done? Do you think I am so stupid that I don't know when someone is stealing from me? Stealing from my clients? It'll be in every newspaper, on every news program, and everything I have built. You taught me how to bend the rules. Bend them, not break them. This isn't all my fault. Other people were involved. It's not just me. You don't know how to act like a man. Did you say a way out? Son. Son has a way out? Because no one knows who I am or what I do at this company. If I confess to your crime, the company may be able to survive the scandal. No way. Please save me, please, son. Please save me, please. I wouldn't do it. You're gonna try this, is it? Will. Oh, fuck. We don't have much time. And sharing. Visiting is what we're doing now. Sharing is something you can only do inside your cluster. Accessing each other's knowledge. Uh, but unless you hurry, there's only going to be six. One of you is about to be destroyed. Yeah. I told you when we first met. Her name is Nomi Mark. She lives in San Francisco. You have you to, need to help her. Will. Now. So doing. Save yourself. We're not gonna hurt you. No, 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 please don't do this. You need to share, not just observe. Here. Help me. Oh, shit. Yeah, yank that friggin' thing out. <sighs> well, I suppose if anyone knows how to get handcuffs, I can't put. You ain't finished. Excuse me, miss. Do you need help, miss? Excuse me. Officer! She's mine, got her. Miss King, I told you I'd take you outside. That was very smart. Sorry, Into the taxi. Sorry, we really need this. No, I'm sorry. 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 Oh. Go. I love you. I got you. Come on. You're safe. You're safe. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, I said hey, one sweetie. I got this song stuck in my. My head all day. It's starting to accept this. The hardest for her because of what she's been told. Because you ain't crazy. What's going on? Right, that was episode four. That was another great episode. I really liked that they took, you know, a lot of times uh, an episode of a series will put a song in to show a few different scenes that's usually some sort of resolute 
to an episode but the way that they did it in this episode showing that it wasn't just each of them experiencing things separately but experiencing it as a whole as a collective um and that he has now started to show him how this works and how he can control it and that there is a difference between just viewing witnessing and being part of it what did he say part of the I can't remember what he said now. There was a word he used. Part, part of the cast or something. I can't remember. Forgive me. I, I can't remember at all. Um, but it's a way for them to be able to become a part of all of them. Which is why he just randomly spoke Korean. This series is so weird. I'm still trying to get my head around just exactly from a scientific side of things. What is that? exactly is going on the Chinese girl I need to learn her name I can't keep just keep calling her that she really really needs to not do what this episode kind of looked like it was going to do her father and her brother have clearly treated her like crap her whole life we all know in this kind of family scenario with the way that they are that men when they have children they want they want boys because they want them for this specific purpose for them to grow up for them to take over the company blah blah blah, blah. and the women don't matter and she should not be taking on the responsibility of bailing out the pair of them and the company because her brother is too busy Coking it up with hookers in some strip club and spending all the money and what is it his father said I showed you how to bend the rules not how to break them so you you have taken what he obviously has built up over these years and just trashed it not give a crap because you've never had to work for it you've always had it handed to you so no why should she take the fall absolutely not um so he is in uh, solitary confinement and he's been led away now. I wonder if they're still going to be able to, commu to communicate and see each other that way or not. I don't know. So it also basically said it's also you can only help in a way with, their, with the, the abilities and the things that each one of you are capable of doing if you've had eye to eye contact. So I'm just trying to piece things together as it is. As regards them to the fortune with the diamonds complete and utter waste of time you spent all that planning all that risk to then just piss it all up on a night out in effect <laughs> i don't know they, they seem like two bit thieves to me who oh, one of them is just very good at learning the trade that it sounds like he learned from his father anyway uh, we'll be back with episode five very soon i am loving how different this is to most series because it's when one person gets in trouble here it's up to the others to try to help out and it's each person is at a different point yet here figuring out what is actually going on am i having visions am i seeing things am i dreaming and i don't know it's <laughs> it's hard to describe the other guy oh sorry i forgot to mention the other guy who van damme um I, I, sorry i still don't know any of the names i really need to look up their names getting out of that guy's car led away by the police or their version of has now crossed the line because it's not like he was given much choice was it this gang boss guy whoever he is obviously has heard what's happened he's taken taken out his whole team he wants you now to be in effect his bag man and his guy who can get things done in that way and it wasn't him who did it at all. Um, and he's doing it all for his mum. Just to get medication. Uh, and prescriptions and antibiotics. And he's just using him to his advantage. But now he's agreed to deliver whatever's in that bag. 
probably drugs of some kind or a money drop is not going to be in that guy's pocket but what do you do at that point say no and just end up getting shot in the head i don't know right we'll be back for episode five very soon don't forget it will be available over on patreon as it always is link will be in the description if you want to watch the full length episode uh and if you enjoyed the video guys by all means give it a thumbs up post your comments down below and if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you enjoy sense8 give it a quick uh, click on the subscribe button and i will see you for the next episode very soon until then thank you very much for watching see you for the next one